think of tonight? I think it was great. I think it gave me an opportunity to talk to the taxpayers, citizens of the state, and present a totally different case to them than they're used to hearing. I mean, these people just keep talking political talk, promises, promises, promises. They don't deliver anything, and they won't deliver anything uh, if we elect either one of them. I'm the only one that can bring change to the state. Uh, I was very excited, uh, and I hope that the Rhode Islanders can see that clear contrast between myself, the governor, and Mr. Trollo, who have both made a constant commitment to raise taxes. You know, Mr. Trollo even playing that inside game with supporting 38 Studios. You know, he's an insider. I'm the only one that is going to bring about real change, just like what I've done in Cranston, making cuts to our budget, uh, but also uh, making investments in our roads, in our schools, and in our libraries so that we help our kids in the next generation. What exactly do you think tonight did for voters out there who were watching? I think tonight showed that there are clear differences in the candidates and that there's a lot of risk. You know, both of my opponents uh, oppose the change that we've been bringing. They oppose the Roadworks program. They oppose our changes to economic development. And so there's a lot of risk that Rhode Islanders will lose their jobs and we'll just go backwards and go back to where we were when I began as governor, which is one of the highest unemployment rates in the country.